What in the world could be in this little RC mystery case? A ready to fly airplane, of course. Apologies for the cringe. I didn't know how else to start this video. <laughs> we have the radio link ready to fly. This is the A560. Guys, if I came to you and said, there is a really good Horizon plane or, or the Isheen little warbirds that are ready to fly, but we all know that there's one or two things we don't love about those planes. And if I said, they fixed it. They listened to people and they fixed it. We all would be ecstatic. We would be just like, oh my gosh, mind blown. A company listened and they made it perfect. I mean, we see that with the turbo timbers and things, but I never would have guessed that Radio Link would have taken their pretty good little ready to fly stunt airplane and made it even better. Uh, that's what we have here. When I p started putting it together, started assembling it, I thought, I don't, re I remember it being kind of like lock key but I don't remember it being this good. This is really good. I loved putting this together. I also didn't remember these little reinforcement bars and things. And, and so I'm really excited to fly this, not only for the physical upgrades, but I'm assuming the flight stabilization, yes, you heard me right, beginners, beginner pilots, this is for you too. It looks like a stunt airplane, but it has flight stabilization. You can also turn that on and off with a really great looking little radio. Uh, I'm just excited to put this in the air. I've, I, I, I want to experience a company that has taken something that was pretty good and just make it even better. And, and I definitely was not expecting it from this brand of all companies. I, I think there's someone there that just has some passion and, and that's very exciting. So let's put this in the air and see how it does. Look at all this movement, Abby. I mean, this is a ton of control surface movement I'm excited. We're in stabilized mode. We've got all kinds of channels. We have a different flight mode I'm excited to try. Let's just see if we can get right in the air. Oh, whoa, a little, <laughs> little squirrely. All right, I'm dealing with wind today too. And this is not a plane you would traditionally fly in wind, but there we go. That's nice. That takeoff was a little too punchy. Just a little, this is gonna be a rudder flyer, definitely. And then it can do a little aileron too if I want to. But stabilized mode already is very nice. Oh yeah, this is sweet. <laughs> oh, it's fun. I like this. I can tell right now this battery is not going to be long enough for me. <laughs> this is awesome. So let's nose into the wind. We're kiting it just a little bit. And that is the, you know, gyro stabilized beginner mode. This is hands-free flight right now, right out of the box. It's just cruising right along. This is really nice. This is, that was just too much throttle on takeoff. Got to keep up the speed here with the wind. We've probably got about a five mile an hour breeze. Rudder turns are super nice on this. It's <laughs> sharp. It's Turn nice. Sharp. This is very, very fun. Very fun. So all I did was just put the nose up and it's kind of helping me hover. But there is a vertical mode on this left switch and I'm going to throw it. Fingers crossed that nothing breaks. I'll do it over the grass. There. Oh, that's cool. Okay. That's awesome. So it just that's flies awesome. vertical by yes. itself. Okay. Let's bring that in closer. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my that's goodness. Crazy. Watch this. Here we go. Vertical mode. Get <laughs> Oh, this is amazing. All I did was throw a switch and bam. Look at that. It's just doing it by itself. <laughs> yeah. Like it can adjust based on wind yes, and stuff. It is. It's, it's adjusting with the wind. Now the wind will take it away. And but you now can it's like flying like a drone. It's flying like a drone. So can you go up and down with like throttle height. like throttle does it make it go up and Throttle's down going to bring it up yeah, yeah. so i'm just down to maybe 50 percent throttle right now okay look at this That's now cool. check this out this is what's going to get really fun we're going to rotate it <laughs> never been oh, able to Jesus, do that i'm so bad <laughs> That's amazing. So many guys that took years to learn this they maneuver. Right They're so right, angry. This back into regular mode. Okay, so now we've got a switch on the right. This is all beginner mode. Such advanced maneuvers for beginner. That's rudder. That's just rudder right there. Oh, I wish it was. I wish we had no wind. This is amazing. Radio Link, you did something. I want one awesome. of these. <laughs> there that, you go. That is cool. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's so awesome. That's amazing. That's amazing. I am going to have to fly this in another video. Okay, okay. It's really good, Abby. This is fun. This is, is it so easy to easy. fly? You just small inputs. Small, small inputs. inputs. Okay. Okay, so we also have. I just got to do that again. That's amazing. <laughs> We have advanced mode too. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so we're just all this is in beginner mode, which is just insane. Uh, so we can turn off the gyro, right? But it'll still have like stabilization, like basically AS3X. 
Okay, so we're gonna turn off safe and go into AS3X, but that's not what it is. So here's how we do that. So now I should be able to do, yeah, nice. Oh my goodness. do more, more manual controls, but it's still wow. got some stability, okay? Wow. Yeah, this is nice. So oh, I like this plane a lot. I wanna see it snap. You wanna snap? If you can so, in this wind. Get it up a little higher, snap it. Very cool little plane. Oh, it's just feathery. And then we have absolute manual mode too. So there's no stabilization at all. Now, basically this is again, the equivalency of AS3X. That's what's going on right now. And now I can turn all this stuff off right here. Now let's see, wrong switch, there we go. So it's completely off. It's just totally me now. No uh, stabilization of any kind. <laughs> It's a little tiny, right? In, the, in my opinion, I need mean, a little expo on that. But <laughs> now we're just flying in completely manual mode. Really fun. Wow. I, I think you can buy this bind and fly, maybe. Really I'll fun. I'll have to see. Oh, this is so awesome, Abby. This is awesome. If you can buy it bind and fly, I'll put it down <laughs> in the description box. You also have a completely manual vertical mode, too. So I don't know how that's going to work, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to throw the switch up into vertical mode. Nope, does nothing. When I'm in manual mode, uh, it Advanced doesn't mode. go vertical, right? So, but I should be able to like manually make it go vertical. So this one go 90 degrees. Oh, no, no, a oh. little too much, a little too much elevator. So too much elevator. the computer chip is better than Nathan oh, right now. Of course it is. <laughs> AI will take over the world, yes, including our hobby. And then we should be able to knife it. Yeah, too, so much rudder, so much rudder, so much rudder. That's kind of amazing. Okay, so knife edging on this is just gonna be like little baby rudder inputs. I'm still in manual mode. Let's go back to like middle mode. AS3X kind of smoothing it out. Oh, so much rudder, I just, knife edging. There you go, look at that. We're knife edge kite. <laughs> With, I don't know what they call it, but I'm just calling it AS3X to help it just smoothen up in that wind. Oh, that's so much fun. Oh, Abby, you're gonna like this. It looks like I'm flying a kite. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, 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 so good. <clears throat> the rudder, the rudder movement on this is just really impressive. Look at that. Just, this is fun. This is a whole new level of RC and it is fun. And then it just, look at that. Just wow. beautiful, just beautiful movements on this thing. Wow. It's actually really fun with a little wind, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, it's really fun. Can we do like a flat spin? Yeah, but that's not a flat spin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the battery life is really good, but I'm gonna want like five batteries for this because this is just really a good time. And then, oh, Abby, wanna go, okay, you gotta be you gotta be in beginner mode. We gotta go all the way down to beginner mode. Okay. Which, remember, beginner mode, guys, it's not letting me flip the plane upside down, see? Okay. Right, really good, really good. Uh, and then when we're in beginner mode, we throw the left switch up, ka-chow, and we're just vertical. And then we can leave vertical and go back to regular flight. But it'll let you spin oh, when yeah. you're in the vertical yeah. mode. Yeah, so when I hit vertical cool. mode, boom. All I do is left stick, so it's really drone controls, 100%. Yeah. That's drone controls. Are you? And if I want to fly <laughs> forward, I have to push the right stick forward, just like a drone. Okay. It's fighting the wind right now, right? So yeah, I see that's it. That's drone mode. That's, I'm just gonna call it drone mode. But when I'm pushing forward like this, it gets smart. The rudder, the rudder takes over. This is still drone mode. Woo. And the rudder was actually, you know, so we're fighting the wind. So let's go back to airplane mode. I'm just gonna fly this thing until it drops out of the sky. It comes with an extra prop. It comes with, now that prop is actually held on with rubber bands. It's kind of like a safety thing for the prop. And it comes with four total of those rubber bands. And then we can go into regular flight mode and just go crazy on those rolls. Just go crazy. Oh, it's awesome. This is really fun. Oh man. Oh, it's amazing, Abby. Like it's powerful if you need it to be. I think you're flying, flying backwards. Right <laughs> Are you flying backwards? A little bit. Yeah, here, let's see if we can go backwards. This is airplane mode. Drop oh. the throttle. <laughs> there we go. Get there you're going. <laughs> you can't see airplane. <laughs> I cannot believe how good this is. Radio link. Oh man, you have nailed this with a home run. For me anyway. And you know what? Some beginners are gonna be turned off by this thinking that's not, that's too advanced for me, right? I can't do all that. Check this out, there's beginner mode. So I said, yeah. I'll have to try I to fly it. If you can fly an airplane, it's safe. If you can fly those 
Ishin Warbirds, you can fly this. But what you have to understand is you're not flying um, the traditional keep it moving forward airplane. You're flying this little guy that is lightweight and just, just does not want to fly fast. Oh, this is really fun. Can I, is there any way to emphasize that? more than what i already have this is just really fun oh man um fly with your hands behind your back in I, beginner oh, mode yeah, <laughs> nate can do that i'd be impressed in beginner mode yeah i'm in beginner mode <laughs> or no i'm in uh it's not beginner mode is it i don't yeah, know what you're in here we'll do intermediate mode I think. intermediate mode yeah <laughs> okay, fly with the transmitter upside down. <laughs> You're really pushing me to wreck, aren't you? I shouldn't though, because I do want to fly this. Okay, stop. <laughs> stop doing that. You're going to freak Oh, look at that. <laughs> Good job. It is fun. Oh, it's fun. Really an awesome plane. And this is a tiny little battery with a JST plug. I cannot believe this flight time. Abby, this is, it's not bank and yank. Remember, you're going to want to do some rudder inputs. Rudder turns are really fun on this thing. So it's kind of a fun plane to play with throttle and kind of break your brain, break your mindset of the traditional flying method and style. We go right into that vertical mode and we're just cheating the whole system. Can we touch the tail on the ground? Probably, but I'm not going to because I know Abby wants to fly it. <laughs> <laughs> do the grass. You can do the grass. Okay. actually doing this not in vertical mode but there's vertical mode oh come on oh guy. boy <laughs> that's not that's the grass. a first i did it i did it you did it, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool that's crazy i yeah. cannot believe we have something that flies like this that's I so cool i love it the radio is nice too guys it's really nice i'm just wow thoroughly enjoying this a lot I think you're going to I'm excited. really have fun with this. So we have to come back out with this very yeah. soon for you to fly it. The one thing I haven't done really, I kind of want to, is a little inverted stuff too. I've kept it regular for quite a low. I forgot my rudder is opposite. <laughs> I always forget that. Everything and I'm doing is so opposite. Much rudder on this flight, uh, rudder is opposite when you're upside down, but ailerons are not, right? So it's it's a little bit confusing. <laughs> Uh, let's put it upside down again though. This is a good airplane to practice inverted flying more on because of that. So then I feel more comfortable banking yanking with it upside down. But I'm getting back over. I just I, I just feel <laughs> the little... airplanes have been moved a little closer to us today, yeah. so let's not I'm do just that. Really happy with this. This is one of my most fun things to fly. This is my first flight on this. This is just awesome. I wanted to do a flat spin. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I can. I can't believe the battery's still going. Yeah, I'm You're surprised. like 12 minutes. Well, this doesn't have any like, you know, telemetry back or anything. So I think I'm going to land it. That's a really long it's flight. It's crazy. On this. Let's see if we can do like, like, kind of like a fun landing. Oh, oh that, that wasn't fun. fun. That's not fun. Try again. <laughs> <laughs> there, better That's take off that time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now that I understand how the plane likes to fly. Oh fun at all. Oh, 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 okay. We're still in not advanced mode, but you know what I'm trying to do, right? Set it down easy. Ah, Easy-ish. <laughs> Easy-ish. They're not the most robust landing gear. It's definitely not designed to taxi. <laughs> no, it's not. No taxiing on this. <laughs> Very cool, Nate. 
I, I don't really know what you're doing. <laughs> you gonna catch it? <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> that's how you need to land it. <laughs> wow, that's a fun plane. <laughs> I'm amazed. I'm truly amazed. I. I didn't think I'd like this. I thought this would just be, eh, write it off, you know, let's fly it and there's a video or whatever. Uh, this is awesome. It's really fun. This is one of those positive experiences that I talk about on the channel often that I say I would like to pass. I, I could share positive experiences, whether it's my favorite cheeseburger or my favorite airplane. I want to do that. That's kind of the point of our channel. And if I could have a hundred different channels to share all these different positive experiences, I would this is that positive experience that i want you guys to have the assembly was actually very easy it comes mostly assembled in a very nice case uh here's here's the one thing i'll say that i think is ridiculous about this whole setup very few people are going to take this airplane that are it's already pretty small and take it apart to put back in that case it would take i don't know to me that just seems unnecessary wouldn't that wear out like the plastic clevises and stuff mm, i don't know the hinges on here are super nice but yeah i wouldn't want to keep snapping and unsnapping those clevises you're exactly right the more you do that the more they're going to wear out they don't come with the little rubber uh things oh, that yeah. hold them and i maybe would add those to it but wow wow this is like the biggest best surprise uh that i've had all year just fair expectations i knew that they made improvements didn't think it'd be this good and it all goes down to this this whole ready to fly setup if i were you i know that looks small and you might think oh man i gotta have my big box radio no i actually wish all transmitters were like this this is very comfortable in my hands yep. the the rubber or not the rubber but the uh the gimbals feel really good in here it's very very responsive this is a good transmitter i i seriously wish all of my spectrum and tactic and whatever radios looked like this it's got a rechargeable battery built in too like it's just really good and simple and it works as soon as you turn it on man that's good super awesome this has got to be my favorite ready to fly thing i've ever flown and yes i do believe it's beginner friendly you could fly this indoors if you had access to a basketball court or a stadium of some kind or something uh, but this flies great outside. It actually handled wind really well. I'm looking at the windsock right now and it's, it's, it's up there. And yeah, that's the amount of wind that I was flying in. It's kind of gusty off and on, but oh my gosh, just, we've got this linked in the description box below. The important thing is gonna be to make sure you don't get the wrong version. I had an older version and it was okay, but I'll be honest with you, after I did that video with it, I think I, gave it to a friend or sold it or something pretty cheap this one i will not ever get rid of i actually really want another one for abby i want like <laughs> three more for me just because it's that good i know it sounds crazy but when i find something i love i like to get two or three of them just in case they stop making it or they're on back order forever or something that's seriously how good this is i love this and i surely hope that anybody that has ever trusted me in the past to make any purchase trusts me on this believe me guys i did not expect to get in front of the camera and tell you to go buy this thing i very rarely am like go buy it but in this case seriously go buy it this was a blast I, i'm just i'm so happy with this thing and just for today's experience even though we flew in the wind i didn't think this could even handle this much wind i honestly didn't i thought it'd be a horrible miserable little flight with this much wind i'm so grateful for the whole thing from the weather that we have to the flight of this airplane and just being alive today and i want to say thanks to god uh, for just everything all of the above also a massive thanks to our patreon supporters guys without your amazing support we could not get in front of the camera as often as we do and deliver the good and or bad news to you as bluntly as we do so often and so because of our patreon support you guys allow absolute transparency uh, for the rest of the world to, uh, to enjoy this hobby and <clears throat> I just want to say thank you guys we'll have this linked in the description box below but if you're interested I think it would probably be worth your time we'll show the older version video we did of this yes that was a lot of fun but there are huge advancements 
in this. And so if you want to see how much this has advanced in such a short amount of time, we'll have that video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye!